Are we already started class already? <laughs> um, it'll be a couple minutes before oh. everybody joins. Oh. But you guys can chat with each other while you wait. Oh. 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 Hey, Jude, Daddy, put it in the washroom. Huh? Hey, Jude. Hi, 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 Hi,
Okay, that's all right. April, is there anything you'd like to share, friend? Um, no, I don't feel okay. like it. That's fine. You don't have to. Alora, anything you'd like to share? Oh no, honey, we can't hear you. Maybe try scooting closer to the camera. Are we not frozen anymore? Oh, well, we lost Alora. Maybe she'll come back. Mr. Jude, your turn. What are we sharing? Um, I didn't really give a prompt today. Something that you'd like to share from your week or how you're feeling today? Um, I'm helping my dad build shelves in the in our cat room, and I'm helping my dad build a swing set. That's really cool. Is the swing set for you and your uh, sisters? Yep. That's really cool. And it's and we're gonna make a playset above it, and it's gonna be the most. And my mom and dad, me, and my sisters are gonna be allowed in it in one time. Okay, that's how stable cool. it is. Are they? Are your sisters helping you build it too, or just you and your dad? I say me and my dad are going to do most of it, helping, but I think they're going to help a little bit. A little bit? Well, cool. Thanks for sharing, Jude. Looks like we got Alora back. Alora, let's try one more time. Try. Oh, I can hear you now. Anything you'd like to share? Um... We're going to be moving soon. You are. Are you excited or are you sad? I don't know because we might not move in the area where we can come to my babysitters and be able to come to this school. Oh. Well, we would miss you if that happens, but I'm sure that you'll make friends. You're a really, really good friend. Mm hmm Thank you. Thank you. Anything else that you want to share, Laura? No. Thank you for sharing that. Let's see. We have Gavin next. Gavin, anything you'd like to share? Not really. Just, just eating stuff for my breakfast and admiring my dog. And admiring your dog. That sounds like a great morning. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Just admiring my dog and stuff. And stuff. Cool. What did you have for breakfast? Waffles. Waffles. Yum. How many waffles can you eat? Oh, give me like four or five. Oh, that's so many waffles. That wouldn't make you sick. It might with seal with seal up. Yeah, that'd be a lot of sugar, wouldn't it? <laughs> Anything else you want to share, Gavin? Nah. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing, Miss Sai. Is there anything you want to share today? No. no? Okay, that's fine. Miss Ashley, your turn. I don't really have anything to say. Nothing to share. Mm -hmm. well, it's good to see you. <laughs> All right, Miss Kendall. Kendall, I can't hear you.
Kendall, something you can try because you are unmuted is at the bottom left where it shows like the video and everything. Make sure that you have your audio on. That's the part that lets us hear you. What are you barking at? Kendall, we'll come right back to you, okay? Mr. Devin, anything you'd like to share today? Um, no, thank you. Nothing? That's all right. Good to see you guys. Miss Kinsley, anything you'd like to share? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm doing a dark work. Uh, my mom bought some flowers. So we're going to pin them on the ground, but we're going to make sure my dog doesn't bite, um, try to eat the flowers because he's always trying to eat flowers. He's always <laughs> trying to eat flowers. Yep. <laughs> and you, um, you guys are planning some more today, you said? Yeah. Well, cool. Mrs. Keller's been working on my little garden, if you can see behind me. I love plants, too. So hopefully your dog doesn't eat them. <laughs> Anything else you want to share? No. All right. Thanks for sharing, Kinsley. Will, anything you'd like to say? No. No. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. Ms. Devea, anything you'd like to share today? Um, I, um, have a very, very, very wiggly tooth. You do? Where's it at? Is it in the front, in the back? Right here. Oh. Do you think it'll come out today? Yes. I was hoping it would come out yesterday. Yeah. Do you think the tooth theory will, will visit you? Sure. Sure? Okay. <laughs> Anything else you want to share? No. All right. Well, that's exciting about your wiggly tooth. Miss Elizabeth, how are uh, you feeling, hon? I know you weren't feeling too good last time we saw you. It's better. Good. I was a little mad I couldn't make it to the Friday's uh, meeting, but it's okay. because it was at my grandma's house. No problem. Um. Did you see that I posted it on YouTube? Um, I just found out how to get onto YouTube. That's fine. So I you're with your baby going. You're with your babysitter today, right? Yeah. So when we get off of the meeting today, I will send her to her email um, the link to Friday Zoom so you can see everybody's biography project, okay? Yeah, I've already finished it. <laughs> That's fine. I thought maybe you wanted to see everybody else's. You don't want to, though. That's okay. I'm sorry. Just don't break his iPad. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go on. This is my driver. Hi, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, anything uh, you want to share, I, Elizabeth? I see Stella. Yes, birthday girl. She's taking a nap. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, I got, me and my friends were on our scooters and we got into a crash and I have a bunch of scars everywhere, but. Oh, no. <laughs> They'll heal up. Yeah. Well, that's all I have to share. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're feeling better, and thanks for sharing. Mr. Joey. Um, me and my family did a campfire. That's awesome. What did you do at your campfire? I ate marshmallows and um, cooked hot dogs. Hot dogs, ooh, that's fun. Did you guys tell any stories? No campfire stories? No. 
That's all right. That sounds super fun. I'm jealous. I love campfires. Do you want to know a secret? What? Mr. Keller proposed to me at a campfire. <laughs> Don't know what to say to that, do you? <laughs> that didn't happen at your campfire, did it? No one got engaged? No? Just roasted some marshmallows and some hot dogs? Yeah. I like it. Anything else you want to share, Joey? No. All right. All right, Kendall, it looks like you said you got your audio working, so let's give it another try. Oh, it's not working, hon. Is your mom nearby to help? See if you can find an adult to help you, Kendall, okay? and I'll come back to you. All right, next is Gabby. Gabby, I know that I just saw your message from your mom, so if you don't feel up to sharing, that's perfectly fine, but if you'd like to share, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to, okay? Okay. I didn't have enough sleep. I, I didn't have enough sleep last night, so I went to the doctor. Yeah. You still not feeling too good? No. Yeah. You know, Mr. Keller has asthma too, so I know sometimes that that's not um, helpful with allergies and everything else going on. But hopefully uh, Stella will cheer you up on her birthday. And it's her birthday today. It is her birthday, that's why her, uh, caller says birthday pup. We've got a birthday cake here for her. We're gonna have a whole shebang. Shebang? Shebang! Big celebration. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to share, Gabby? No. Okay, well, we're glad you're here. Mr. Bill, anything you'd like to share? Oh, so on Wednesday, on Wednesday, uh, someone came to mow um, some of our grass and he said that he'll teach me how to cut grass and, and next year he'll teach me how to drive his thing. Ooh, it's a riding lawnmower? Yeah, his lawnmower. Oh, that would be fun. Are you excited? I will ride a lawnmower. That's fun. Kind of like riding in a tractor. Yeah. So you're going to kind of learn how to drive a car next year, it sounds like. Yeah. That's really exciting. Anything else you want to share, Bill? Interesting stuff. No. Here. All right. Well, thanks for sharing. Good to see you. Kindle, let's try it a third time. Third time's a charm. Can you guys hear me? Yes. I think all I needed to do was take my headphones off. Oh, I didn't see that you had headphones. You got it. Um. First thing I want to say is this isn't my homework. I got a big folder of it. Oh, wow. Um, and second thing I have to say is my mom's a nurse, and she's been taking care of sick people. Some of them have coronavirus. Some of them don't. Yeah. And well, that's a really important job, so thank you to your mom. Thank you for sharing, Kendall. You're welcome. So what I thought we could do, like I said, we're going to, for those of you who joined a little bit later, we're going to play a game today. Um, it's going to be a recycling Jeopardy game. I've split all of you into teams. We actually have even, even teams. We're going to do two teams. I already have them sorted. But before we did do that, I thought I could unmute you all and maybe we could sing happy birthday to Stella. Does that sound fun? Okay, so I'm going to get Stella and then I'll unmute you all.
here's her little puppy cake. She's been excited to give it a try. <laughs> you are all unmuted. Yay. She's five years old. Oh, she's five. Oh, she's five. Oh, she's five. Happy birthday to you. Happy share screen so that we can get started on our game. All right, so like I said, today, what are you doing? Today, we're gonna do a um, recycling, <laughs> a recycling Jeopardy. So our categories are recyclable items, things made from plastic, waste, so that's like trash, Recycling. Where are your table manners? Recycling and true or false. And here are the teams, just so that we can um, be organized here. Team number one, you guys are working together. We have April, Gavin, Alora, Kendall, Jude, Kinsley, Nevea, and Bill. Okay, so you guys are team one. Team two is going to be Honglin, Ashley, Sai, Devin, Will, Gabby, Joey, and Elizabeth. If I missed anybody who joins maybe later than I started taking notes, just type it in the chat so that you're not left out. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with team one. And April, you are the first person that's on team one. So I'm going to let you choose the category. Um, I'll pick two, two, four, five. Two, four. Number 50, no, 500. 500, true or false? Okay. Yes. So remember, if you're, <laughs> get cake everywhere. If you are on April's team, that's Gavin, Alora, Kendall, Jude, Kinsley, Nevaeh, and Bill. So you guys are the ones thinking about this question right now. Okay, so 500, true or false? Question is, you can recycle cement. So cement is that stuff that makes like sidewalks. Try to think about that, what it's made out of. Do you think that it is something you can recycle? And you guys can chat in the, um, you can type each other in the chat to try to come up with an answer. And then April, when you think that you have an answer, you can raise your hand and I'll unmute you and you can um, tell me what you think the answer is, okay? You think you can recycle cement? Was that good cake? Mm. 
Do you have an answer, Miss April? Mm. Now, this isn't anything we particularly talked about specifically. I have an answer. Okay, what's the answer? It's no. It's, do you, it's you think it's false? Yes. All right, shut up. You are correct. Good job, team one. So go ahead and put the birthday girl down. All right, good job. She devoured that cake. Good job. So that means that team one gets 500 points. Good job. All righty. Let's see if I can figure out how to get back. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Um, so that was April's turn. Now it is team two's turn. And I have Elizabeth going first. If you are on Elizabeth's team, you are Honglin, Ashley, Cy, Devin, Will, Gabby, and Joe. You guys can help each other in the chat if you'd like to. Let me go ahead and see if I can find Elizabeth here. It's kind of hard to do this on share screen. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, there she is. Elizabeth, which category and for how much points would you like to pick? Plastic and 500. Things made from plastic for 500. You've got it. Team two, your question is, can you make carpet out of plastic water bottles? A lot of these questions are, are just kind of for fun based on what we've talked about with recycling this week. It's not anything we necessarily specifically talked about. So don't feel bad if, if you don't know for sure the answer. Can you make carpet out of plastic water bottles? And just show me you're ready by raising your hand. All right, Elizabeth, what do you think the answer is? I think it's no. You think it's no. Let's see. <gasps> yes. So let's go ahead and let's look that up. Oops. Wow, recycled carpeting, another way to support plastic recycling. Wow. So all of these swatches are examples of um, plastic that was recycled and turned into carpet. That's really cool. Um, it says that these type of fabrics, nylon, polypropylene, and polyester are made from plastic fibers. So that makes it possible to use those materials to make carpet. Oh. Wow, that's really cool. All right, that was a hard one, guys. That's why it was 500 points. That's okay, though. All right, so we have team one. Gavin, it is your turn to be the spokesperson for your team. Let's see if I can find you. There you are. Mr. Gavin, what category would you like? Waste 500. Waste 500. You've got it. Here's your question. How long does it take plastic to degrade? And we did talk about the word degrade in um, our recycling lesson yesterday. Degrade means like break down to the point of it disappearing. So um, like in a landfill, in places where we put garbage, if you're not doing anything to it to recycle it, if it's just left on its own out in nature, how long will it be before that plastic is broken down into nothing, is the question. Mm -hmm. So 50, 200 years or 400 years, team one. <laughs> they're, just, they're just for fun questions. We're learning something new. Oh. I'm thinking it's B or C. 
I'm thinking those are some good guesses. B. All right, team two, we're going to go with 200 years. Are we ready? <gasps> 400 years. Can you guys believe it? That is a long time wow. for a little piece of plastic to disappear. Gavin, that was a good guess. You're close. All right, like I said, if you guys are getting questions wrong, that's perfectly fine. This is just a way for us to learn something new. Um, you guys are picking the most difficult questions first, so that's why you're being stumped so much. So if you'd like to choose something worth a little less points, it's probably going to be a question you're going to be more likely to know or something that we've talked about this week. All right, so team two, I have Honglin. Mr. Honglin, which category would you like team two to choose next? Things made from plastic for 200. For 200? Now 400. 400? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, this is another tough one. So we know that you can make carpet from plastic water bottles. Now we need to know, do you think you can make a backpack out of plastic water bottles? Now remember the article that we just read said, materials that are made out of plastic pieces are nylon, polyester, and polypropylene, I think is how you pronounce it. So think about, materials that that might be um might make up a backpack think do you think it's possible to make a backpack out of plastic water bottles team two you can help them in the chat Hollywood, it looks like your team is stumped you've got a couple yeses couple no's a couple maybes Honglin, what do you think? Yes. All right, let's see. Good job. Team two, that puts you on the board with 400 points. Great job. Now let's see if we can find plastic water bottles. Backpack. Ooh. You won't watch the whole video. Let's see oh, if we to show a process here. I want to tell you about my friend, Mark Noel. Mark Noel. See if I can find the After the earthquake oh, wow. in 2010, I came to Port-au-Prince. I met Mark Noel. So here they are sorted. They looked awesome. They made out of stuff that didn't kill Mother Nature and made our lives easier. Especially when it came to the product we use most often. And then let's so see here it is. what it looks like. Their backpack. Wow. It's the first backpack that you can wear with anything, take anywhere, all while looking like you're capably adulting. Does that look like that's made out of plastic water bottles? No. No, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I can share this video um, on GroupMe later if you guys want to watch more about it. Pretty cool. Good job, team two. Let's see, team one, it is Allura's turn. Let's find Allura. There she is. Hi, Allura. What's our next category going to be? Items for 400. Recyclable items? Uh-huh. All right. Team one, here's your question. Ooh, this one is actually pretty closely related to what we talked about in our science lesson yesterday. Do you think that pizza boxes are recyclable, team one? Talk about it in the chat. Allura, when your hand's in the air, I'll know you're ready to answer. All right, Miss Allure, what does your team think? Yes. All right, let's see. They are not, this is a tricky question. So pizza boxes are made from cardboard, which is a paper product, but unfortunately, pizza is so greasy 
that the cardboard from the pizza itself is going to be, it's going to have so much food material on it that they aren't going to be able to use it to turn it into something new. So that was a really tricky one. We did talk about it in the science lesson yesterday, but like takeout boxes, pizza boxes, things like that. Unfortunately, you can't recycle because of all the food particles that um, get absorbed inside. So that's I forgot a, that you can't recycle dirty things. That's okay. That's a really hard question. That was a good guess. Because you're right, pizza boxes are made from cardboard. So you would think that you could recycle them. All right, team two, Ashley. There she is. Miss Ashley, what's our next category going to be? True or false 300. True or false 300, you've got it. All right, team two. True or false, there is an island, an island of trash in the Pacific Ocean that is bigger than Texas. Well, that's a great true or false question. Nothing we talked about this week, but think if that's a possibility or not. Who drew on my screen? <laughs> Thinkers. Ashley, is that your answer or is that somebody else's answer? That's somebody else's. Ashley, does your team have an answer? <clears throat> yeah. All right, what do you think? Do you think it's true or false? Um, true. All right, let's see. Yes, it is. Wow, an island. An island means that it's touching the bottom of the ocean floor and coming all the way to the surface and it's taking up a big amount of space. Can you believe that we have that much trash just in that one spot in the ocean and it's bigger than the state of Texas? Wow. Do you think that's good for the fish? No. No, that's pretty shocking, isn't it? All right, guys. And Ashley, you got that right, I think, correct? All right, Ashley, your team got 300 points, taking team two to 700. <clears throat> team one and team two have had an even number of chances. I know not everybody got a chance to um, have a turn. Unfortunately, however, Mrs. Keller has another Zoom meeting that I have to attend um, with some other staff members. So I, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes. If you have any questions from this week, um, from the lessons or anything. I know it was kind of chaotic with Google Classroom being down. I'm going to email out a reminder to everybody of what, you know, is due this week, but I'll give uh, some extra grace with it being so disorganized due to Google Classroom being down. But if anybody has any questions about recycling Earth Day, um, any questions about rhyming, uh, force in motion. You guys can type your questions in the chat. Otherwise, I'll do what I do every, um, every time we do a Zoom, and I'll give you guys an opportunity to chat with your friends for a couple of minutes. I will send the link to the video of the plastic recycled backpack, and also the link to the online Jeopardy um, on GroupMe and email so that you guys can continue to play if you'd like at home, okay? Texas. All right, you're all unmuted. Hello, April. Bill. Hi. 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 I'm holding Texas. Hi. 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 Yogurt. 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 I'm holding Texas. Say my name. Joey. I have a special plan. Hey. Thank you all again. Hi, Sai. 
Joey, 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 Birthday girl Stella says thank you for joining us on her birthday today. This is the best turnout that we've had on Zoom um, ever since we've been doing distance learning. So, so thank you so much for coming and thank you for watching uh, Stella devour her birthday cake. I hope you had fun doing the Jeopardy. Um, and then for today's uh, Crafty Friday activity, after I'm done with my meeting with the other staff members, I will record that and upload it on YouTube. I think you'll like it and it's a perfect day for it. We're going to make puffy paint sidewalk chalk. So that'll be pretty fun. I'm excited about that. I hope that you guys have a great weekend. I can't wait to see you Monday for our Zoom meeting. Uh, we're going to go on a virtual field trip on Monday. So I hope that you can come. And if not, that's fine. I will do what I always do and post the Zoom meeting on YouTube. All right, guys, bye. Love you, miss you. <laughs> Stella misses you too.